Hello everyone, Carol Bernard here, co-founder of Gabology.com. In this short video, we're going to show you how to quickly find your best federal market prospects. So for those of you who are getting started, you know exactly where to look for those agencies who are most likely buying what you sell and reduce the time wasted and spinning your wheels in talking to agencies that particularly don't buy what you sell. So let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are. We've got our internet browser open. And for the purposes of this scenario, we're going to say that we are a small construction firm, general contractor in the state of New Jersey. And we want to identify what might be the best agencies to begin pursuing first. Because as many experts will agree that this is really the best approach. Once you do your market research, you identify the top potential target agencies and you start at that one. You get to know everything that you can know about those folks so that you're going to enable yourself to do business with them. So with that, uh, we're going to take you into the federal procurement data system. So you go into your browser and just type in fpds.gov. Now FPDS is the place where contracting officers report contract spend on an annual basis so you could use this as a good market research tool there's a lot of things on this website that you can uh, take a look at but to keep it simple we're just going to come into the easy search button here and if for example you don't know your uh, next code you can type in the keyword construction and you can see I've already uh, looked at a couple of things so if you do uh, type something in here you can go back and pull it up so I'm just going to go ahead and type it in again so we're going to go construction because maybe you don't yet know what your uh, best uh, next code is that you want to use here so once we type that in we're just going to hit the enter button and that's going to pull up a bunch of data here now this initial data result that we're going to get is going to be from many years and it's going to go all across the United States because we have not applied any filters to it yet. So what you're going to want to do uh, if you are located for example in uh, New Jersey is you're going to go, on to go ahead and, and filter on New Jersey but you're also going to want to filter out for the most relevant uh, year of data because we don't want to look at things that happened in the, the 1980s or maybe even 2012 for that purpose. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to go to an advanced filter and we want to add hit the little add button there and then we're going to go and do contract fiscal year so uh, for those of you who may not know yet the government's fiscal year runs on uh, uh, annual basis and starts on October and it ends at the end of September of every year so if you want to capture the last full year basically what you would do is go and uh, capture that year uh, not necessarily the year you're in but the previous year for our example uh, at the date of this recording, we're uh, right at the end of February of 2017, but we want to look at what happened in a complete year. So we're going to go back to 2016 fiscal year. So we're just going to go ahead and type in 2016 and hit the search button there. Okay, now that's going to filter out the results and just give us everything that happened in this in 2016. Next thing we want to do is we want to filter into the, our state. So we're going to again hit an advanced search feature here and we're going to hit add and then we're going to add another filter there. So we're going to drop down. This time we're going to scroll down until we get to POP state name. Now that stands for place of performance state name. It's, it's going to tell us where the contract was actually performed. Uh, so basically POP state name and we're going to say like and we're going to do all caps here. If you don't use all caps, for some reason the system doesn't like it and it's probably going to return you zero results. So make sure you put on all caps. And we're going to just type in New Jersey and we're going to hit search again. Now that's going to return us another set of results based upon contract spending in the fiscal year of 2016 within the state of New Jersey. Now before we go any further here, let's talk about what factors you may consider into who is your top target agency. Now one thing that we may be able to look at is uh, the agencies that do the most contracts within the area. And so if we look over here to the left hand side of the screen, 
we can see the top 10 departments and by their full name so for example we see that the Department of Defense uh, by far does the most has the most activity however what you want to do is you want to go down even further and you want to see what is the agency within the DOD that actually did that activity so basically if we look down below here we can see Defense Logistics Agency, Department of the Army, Department of the Air Force. So these are all sub-agencies within the Department of Defense. And so you're going to want to drill down even further there to really got to get a determination about, you know, who am I going to target first? Because the way that the Army does business may be separately than the way that the Navy does business. And so looking at the contract activity may be one option for you. You may be also interested in how much is the agency spending within your industry uh, so basically uh, if you wanted to look at that you would have to go over here and download a CSV file I'm going to show you how you can quickly assess that real quick but it's not always about who's spending the most money or who's doing the most contract actions it may also be hey that the number two or three spender uh, if you happen to be a service disabled veteran and if the Department of Veterans Affairs you see has a high amount of spending but you maybe have some leverage there because you are a service disabled veteran where you might not have that advantage when you going into bidding on Army work or Navy work even though they do have set aside for SDVOSB they are not nearly as uh, multiple uh, or as many as those with the Department of Veterans Affairs. So some of those things that you may want to take into consideration. Another thing that you might want to take into consideration is do I already have some existing relationships within some of these agencies? So maybe you worked for another contractor who did work within GSA's public building service and you were a key employee there. You've got relationships with the facilities managers so perhaps just because GSA public building service is not in the number one or two spin categories that might be able to help you get your foot in the door there but let's just say you didn't have any of those things and you're either looking at who does the most contracting activity uh, within my state uh, and also who spends the most money within my state so again over here we can look at who does the most contracting activity within the state now if we wanted to we could actually uh, s drill in a little bit further so if you are a general contractor and you know that your next code is 236220 for commercial and institutional building construction uh, there's a little link there and you can actually click on that little link and that's just going to drill down into the data for specifically what has been spent within that particular next code now when we go back over to the left here we see that the Department of Army has the most contract activity uh, the Department of Air Force is number two. So does that also hold true in terms of those contracting activities being the highest spin? Well, let's take a look at this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the right-hand side of the screen here, and we're going to hit Export Data as a CSV file. And this will only take a second. We're going to go ahead and save that file, open it up. All right, so what we're going to get here is a, just a big sheet of data. So what I'm going to show you how to do right now is to apply a pivot table filter to better look at that data. So what we want to do is go up here to the left hand side of the screen and in this corner cell here just between the A and the 1 we're going to just click on that to select the whole sheet and we want to say insert a pivot table. Okay, We're going to leave this alone and just go ahead and say OK. Now that brings us up the pivot table view. So the nice thing about having this on video is that you can rewind it a little bit if you want to follow along in, in the path of what we just did here and replicate this you know, specifically for your business. Uh, now here we are at the pivot table and we're going to show you just how to add some data to this. Now over on the right hand side you're going to see uh, the various uh, fields that you can add to the pivot table. So what we're going to want to do here is first we're going to want to add the contracting agencies. So right here we have the contracting agencies and two fields down we're going to see action obligations. So that's basically what those agencies obligated in dollars during that fiscal year. Then we're going to have to come over here down below and we're going to take that actions obligation. We're going to left click on this and just hold it down and slide it over into the value section. From there we're going to want to click on this little drop down 
and then click on value field settings and we're going to want to look at this as a summary so we're going to say sum and then we're going to say OK. Now I like to see the dollar sign so I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on the B column that's going to highlight the whole column then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say format cells and show me the money there we go currency and basically that's going to show us the dollar signs and then the last thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the top cell here with the dollar spin uh, or the dollar deobligation of uh, where we can see defense commissary agency actually deobligated ten thousand dollars this year but I'd like to get a top-down approach so I'll just uh, click in that top cell and then go to data and then use the Z to A to sort from largest to smallest and then there you go now this view is actually going to show us who's spending the most money within the state of New Jersey so dependent upon how you want to look at your best prospects again going back to the FPDS view it showed the number of transactions that occurred and that could say hey well they're basically giving the most opportunity here uh, you can look at it this way and say, you know, hey, the, the Department of Army is doing the most spinning here. So when we compare that back to the data that we saw in uh, the uh, US FPDS here, not only is the Army doing the most contract actions, but they are also spending the most dollars, which is a good indication that all things being equal, if we don't have any special certifications, example, you know, uh, SDVOSB may want to target the 15 million and spend that the VA has done in 2016. Um, but basically, we're saying uh, for this purpose, Department of Army might be a great place to start. Now, I'm going to share with you a couple of resources that you can go out and you know, leverage uh, the PTAX or uh, other sources to help you continue on with this market research. But this is a way that you're going to be able to view and see who might be the top spending agencies in your area. One thing that I do want to say, though, is you have to kind of be careful with the data because just because it says National Park Service here was number two, that doesn't necessarily mean that there would be the most opportunity for you at that agency. Uh, if we go again back to the FPDS data here, and uh, we're looking at the top opportunities, the top number of activity ha happening by the agency, we see the National Park Service actually had 20 contract actions. Now that doesn't even include there was 20 individual contracts awarded. That includes any contracts awarded plus any dollars that were added on via modifications and whatnot so when you're looking at the total spin data you know the National Park Service may be just one project for 17 million dollars where you know hey if you were a small business going after that one project you might not even be you know eligible or qualified to go after that project so in, in essence could be that that's zero dollars of opportunity for you so I like to take an overall approach I like to look at how many uh, actions are being done by which agencies I like to look at the total spend and I also like to look at the fact you know do you have any special advantages that might help you out in going forth and, and pursuing business with any given agency all right so that is how you can quickly assess who your best prospects may be potentially in the area and then you can come up with uh, an estimation on where would be the best target agency for you to begin making some inroads in getting some introductions talking to the small business specialists etc I want to show you a couple of additional resources that you can leverage if you don't already know about them uh, so the first is the PTAC and so what we're going to do here uh, from our browser window is we're going to type in the URL www. Oh, excuse me, www.aptac-us.org. Now, the Association of Procurement Technical Assistance Center basically is a resource site for local PTACs. Now, if you're not familiar with the PTAC, a Procurement Technical Assistance Center, uh, these are organizations that are funded in part uh, by a cooperative agreement uh, with the Department of Defense to help small businesses uh, understand how to do business with the government. And they can also help you in this market research area because we took you through a quick example. Uh, but 
some industries and just depending upon what you sell sometimes it's not always that easy to get through the data like that and so you might need some assistance in helping you out with this market research effort so for example again in this scenario if maybe we're not really finding what we're looking for here in the data uh, what we could actually do is go to the state of New Jersey because our uh, scenario was based out of New Jersey and try to find out a, if there's a PTAC located there and there is so what you could do is basically this uh, NJIT PTAC covers all the counties except for Union County and if you happen to be in Union County you can just kind of look below and then there would be your points of contact for that PTAC in Union County now what you could do is you could contact any of these points of contact here in order to get some counseling services to further help you along with some of those market research efforts and not only can they uh, help you maybe assess who your best targets might be to start out with they can help you with a whole range of other things like developing a uh, capability statement if you haven't registered to do business already you can go ahead and get registered so this is a no cost resource to you so I recommend that you check it out and use it the other thing that I wanted to recommend is that if you wanted to go a little bit more into the market research you can go to our website at govology.com so just go to www.govology.com we have a whole set of on-demand training that you can go and take a look at and in particular for your market research efforts we do have a class called how to conduct market research on the federal marketplace so if you browse our on-demand library scroll down a little bit and you'll see this one with the road sign how to conduct market research on the federal marketplace it's only twenty five dollars but you do have an option if you are working with one of our participating PTACs such as New Jersey PTAC is one of our partners you can actually get this course at no cost to you so again contact your local PTAC and find out what resources they have available for you with that that takes you through our quick tutorial and I hope this was helpful for you and look forward to seeing you on Govology in the future good day everyone